What did we start with today? Probability. Probability. then solving that is not that difficult right if i honestly tell did i teach you guys something to yesterday probably not what i told was pranav you are getting beard no okay so don't don't rush for getting beard okay that becomes an overhead so now coming back to the point i did not teach any concept what i was kind of reemphasizing was read the question enough enough so that you get the the gist out of it and understand what exactly is been asked and then you try solving it with all the things that you know okay so that was the thing and then we started with probability probability as we speak problem probability as it goes by the english meaning of it it's a chance many of you try teaching me like me being the toddler and you explain if you say probability and if you have to explain something to a dumb person like me you'll say probability is nothing but chance don't worry it sounds big it's not a simple thing okay now on the same lines if i have a coin to toss i can get a head or i can get a tail there are two options i have now let's make life a little more interesting if i'm tossing the coin two times Hear me out carefully, okay? Don't look for opportunity to talk to me. I'm not engaging in any conversation. I'm just giving you guys a question. Okay. Hear me out carefully. If I'm tossing the coin two times, what is the probability of getting head? If I'm tossing the coin two times, everybody hands down. You are not listening to the question first. If I'm tossing the coin two times. What is the chance of getting a head, or what is the probability of getting a head in the first attempt? Again, let me repeat the question. I will not listen to anybody. I will not look at anybody's raised hand because I am a very annoying teacher. I am saying, if I am, if I am tossing the coin two times, hear me out carefully, okay? If I am tossing the coin two times. What is the probability of getting head in the first attempt? Okay. Fifty percent. How did you calculate? Show me what did you do? I think it will be fifty percent because he just no, 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 no. Okay, fifty percent. I'll come to you. Okay. Everybody is giving fifty percent. Uh, I think fifty percent. You also saying fifty percent. What is the possibility of getting a head in the first attempt? Okay. That was the question. Wait, are you flipping two coins or one coin? I'm flipping coin twice. It's the same thing. If I'm flipping it twice or flipping two coins, I'm saying what is the probability of getting a head in the first toss? Wait, can I borrow a pencil? This one. Broke. Yeah, you can take this one. Oh, it is yours. Okay. Take take one of the markers. Uh, yeah, I have one, but it doesn't seem to have. Oh, it doesn't have okay, that's fine. Okay, so yeah, yeah, Vishal. I got one half. One and half. How about you, Bhupal? I got fifty. Fifty percent. Yes, Anvil. I also got fifty. How about you, uh, Pranit? Is twenty five. That makes it interesting. So. As a fish 
Don't trigger any unwanted discussion. Now, let me stop everybody here. Yeah, Gitesh, tell me one last time. What was your answer, Gitesh? I got one half. Okay. Now, let me make it more interesting. I was not happy with the level of difficulty I posted for you guys. I'm saying I, cost, uh, I tossed the coin twice. What is the probability of getting a head in the first go and a tail in the second go? 0%. What? Solve it and then show your smartness. Wait, heads Talking and... doesn't make anybody smart. Wait, heads and tails? I am saying I tossed the coin twice. First attempt, what is the probability of getting a head in the first go and a tail in the second go? And I am surprised to see nobody is using pen and paper before giving an answer to me. You can get a zero marks even if I look, your answers are correct. Because there is no marks for smartness. Yeah. Yeah, Bhuvan. Bu 25%. How? 25. Um, so, uh, on the first one, to get um, head is one, one by two. And then for the second one, getting tails is also one by two. One by two times one by two is one by four. That's a very intelligent answer for a dumb person like me. All right, let's see Gitesh. Uh, I got one fourth. Okay, how? Uh, you have to understand your teacher is not very smart, okay? Like the first, like if there is like four times, you, in the uh, heads or tails, you can get heads, tails, tails, heads, 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 the tails, tails, and you get heads, tails, it's one four. Hmm, this is, this is resonating with my level of intelligence, okay? Let's see what Vishal has to say. Yeah, Vishal. I was about to say the same thing, like how you thought yesterday, because yeah. I thought you wanted me to say it that way. Right, right. Yeah, Pranav, same thing? Yes, yeah, same thing. So, see, why I was acting dumb or idiotic was primarily because beauty lies in simplicity. If you make things simple, you'll be able to relate things better. If somebody has given you a formula saying, okay, fine, if you, if you are tossing the coin three times, possibility of getting a head, tail and tail is one nine uh, based on certain formula. Okay. You multiply one, 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 two, one, two, and uh, one by two three times and you get one by eight, that is the probability. That might be easy to remember in first go. The time you start growing grey hairs like me, by then you will forget everything. Because you learned that as a, as a task. You did not learn that as a concept. Yeah, Myra, you are saying something. Oh no, I accidentally raised my hand. Okay. So, Let's, let's, let's break it down. Let's, let's look at something like an example. If I have one coin that I toss, I can get a head or a tail. Very simple. If I'm tossing two coins, I can get a head in the first go and tail in the second go. I can get a tail in the first go. I can get a head in the second go. I can get a head in the first go and also a head in the second go. I can get a tail in the second go, first go, and tail in the second go also. It gives you four options. So when I said, what is the possibility of getting a head in the first go and tail in the second go, we are only talking about this option, which is one out of four. We have total four options, and we are talking about one out of four. Yeah? If I say, if I tweak my question and say, what is the possibility of getting a head in the first go? You are talking about this option and this option, which is 2 out of 4. When I am tossing 2 coins, what is the possibility of getting a head in the first go? You are talking about initially this one and this one. Yeah? So, there are a lot of formulas that you guys will learn. I mean, I am not denying that. 
And you will have to learn that because not every question will be as simple as this one. But then, concept has to be robust and as simple as possible so that it gets glued with you like a gorilla glue. Gorilla glue, right? That, that's the strongest of the glue? Yeah? Not the strongest. Okay, I'll tell you. Now, now let's add more fun to it. And I would want kids like Vasundara, Dikshita, Me. Lakshita. Me. No. Me. And, Me. And, uh, and Vivan. And, and Thanu to, to engage a little more, okay? Because I want to bump up everybody's energy level when we are in the class. In a constructive way, not for disturbing everybody else. Did I give you a chance to speak? Yes. Let's stop it then. Now, now let's add some fun. I want to buy a car. I don't have a lot of money though. So I can only choose between a Honda and a Toyota. And I can only afford to go for a sedan. Okay. A what? Sedan. Oh. So, I'm wanting to buy a car. And hear me out carefully. I'm wanting to buy a car. I have not kept a lot of money for buying this and I don't want to take a loan either. So I'll go for a very economical option. That's why I decided to go for a Honda, Toyota and that too for a sedan. And then when I went to the Toyota and Honda dealership with, the, with my budget, this is what they told me. I can go to Toyota or Honda I am talking about sedan, so then I am essentially talking about a Civic. Oh, what? Um, wait. Toyota, Honda, I am talking about only sedan. Okay, there is only one option. And then, with my budget, they said, okay, you can get a blue card or a black card because that is what we have in the showroom right now. Okay? How many total options do I have to choose from? I want only one card. So you yeah, Vishal. Can you write the question again? I am planning to buy a car okay. with limited budget. Buy a, a car with a limited budget. Okay. And with that budget, I could do my research and figure out that I can go for a Toyota or a Honda and only a sedan. I cannot afford. Uh, with my budget, uh, an RDC or or a you know, Sienna okay. or any any anything like a pilot or something, so I can only go for a sedan. And then when I talk to these dealerships, they told with the current stock that they have, there's only blue and black car option for both, for both both of them eventually. So with my budget and these constraints, how many options do I have here? Yeah. So, you can either get um, Tesla and a Honda. Toyota, Toyota and a Honda. Toyota. Tesla is way too expensive for me. Toyota. So, you can either so you can get a Toyota and a Honda uh -huh. or, a, or only a sedan. Yes. Sedan. Only a sedan. Okay. So, how many options do I have? Or let me do one thing. Let me make it more interesting for you guys. Sedan and hatchback. The hatchback is like something which is like a little squeeze version of the car. Oh, I chose speed. Huh? Well, that is not two back seats. It has two back seats. It doesn't have a big uh, luggage space in the back. It doesn't have... Oh, it, has, it doesn't have a... Wait, so could you read the question again? So now, I'm saying, with the budget I have, I figured out that I can only buy a Toyota or a Honda. Mm -hmm. I can only go, go for a sedan or a hatchback. And then, when I talked to these dealerships, they said that they both, Toyota and the Honda dealership, they both have blue or a black option. So, how many options I have here that I can choose from? Yeah, I'll come to you. Yeah, let's see what Vivan has to say. He has six options. Six options. Okay. Eight. Okay. Eight. eight. You also eight? Yeah. Okay. How about you, uh, uh, Pranit? Yeah. I also think it's eight. Eight. Okay, how about you, Gitesh? 
How, okay, how about you, Tanu? Eight. How about you, Myra? Um, I got eight. Okay. Okay, Bupal, any guess? Well, I'm still doing it. I'm sorry? I'm doing it. Okay. No. Pranav? I'm not. I got 24. 24? Okay, interesting. Yeah, 24. See? With the amount of money I'm trying to spend, you are getting me 24 options. That is good enough. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Gitesh? What about the civics? Civics are also small. No. Civics. Both the same. Hmm. Now he's eating, let him eat, but yeah, don't, don't bring food to the class. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, be one. I got eight. Okay. Now, only I will ask this question to only two of you, okay? Just to help you understand this, okay? I am again, if you put your hands down, that will be better. That will look more nice. Only two of you, I will ask only two of you to explain me what is your answer with respect to how many options you have and how. And always consider I being a very Below average guy when it comes to IQ. Okay. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, almost. Almost. Yeah, yeah, we won. Sir? Yeah. So, how I got six, guys? I said that you have like four car options with two colors. I said two car options and sedan or hatchback, and then every every variant you have black and blue options. Yeah. Uh, oh, I got confused on that one. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Vishal, can you teach me or explain to me how did you get eight? You have like eight options total because um, since there are two brands, Toyota and Honda, mm -hmm. each uh, available in two types, and the sedan and the what's the other car name? Um, hatchback. Hatchback which also have two types uh -huh. and then you have two color combinations so you multiply all three to find the combinations because you can use it's like combinations and you multiply you get eight total options okay that was a little little loaded for me but mm -hmm. but yeah i'll take it okay let's see if sian wants to explain that to me um so a sedan so a sedan would have uh, two uh, colors available, uh -huh. so you would have two options already. Then a hatchback will also have uh, two colors available, so uh -huh. you have another two options. And then there's two brands where you can get it from. Uh -huh. So then you would just uh, do four plus four, so then you get eight. Okay. All right. So I I think I got it. Now I'm pretending to be smart. I was acting dumb before. Now, now the same thing that you guys told. There is something called a tree structure. You can use a tree structure to, I mean, the, the whole thing, right? Be it a probability, be it permutation, combination, whatever you learn. There is no tricky math involved. It's all about relating the concepts, picturizing it, and then doing some basic calculation to get to the answer. Yeah, Vishal, you are still trying to say something? Okay. So, here, I will do that in a very simple way. Yeah. So I have two options, Toyota and a Honda. Okay. Now within Toyota I have sedan and hatchback. I'm putting a shorter version of that. Similarly for Honda also have sedan, sedan and hatchback. And then every sedan can be blue or black. Hatchback also can be blue or black. This is what the dealership has told me. This Honda also sedan can be blue or black. Hatchback also can be blue or black. Now, to figure out how many options I have, I can take one of the paths here. I can start from here, go to Toyota, get a sedan, blue color. That, that is one option. Toyota sedan, black. Second option. Toyota hatchback, blue. Third option. Toyota hatchback black, fourth option. Honda sedan blue, fifth option. Honda sedan black, sixth option, seventh option, eighth option. 
we got eight option imagine if you only had to deal with toyota it would have been half four options if we have everything here that means if let's say if we have only sedan as an option it becomes into half two only two so what you see here is if you have two brands it gets double if you have two variants it gets double if you have two colors the option gets double so every thing here is attributed to the count imagine if you had only sedan and black Toyota sedan and black it would have been Toyota sedan blue Toyota sedan black two options this is one this is one and this is two one into one into two you got two options what if you added hatchback here then you had hatchback here added here blue black it became two more options so this one became two now you multiply one into two into two that became four it is matching with this count if you add one more here white what happens you add a white here you add a white here it becomes six and this became three one into two into three six so this becomes your formula this is how it becomes your formula all the options you have you multiply them together that gives you a total number of options now look at it this way Is it, I mean, whatever I explain, is that clear to you guys? Yeah. 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 Dikshita, are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay. Gopal, making sense yeah. so far? Am I making sense so far? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, now let's look at other situation. And uh, stop playing with uh, emojis, guys. Yeah. Okay. That gets me distracted. Use emojis to the least possible extent yeah. because, and then this this is also another kind of emoji which gets me distracted. So Happy. stay still, stay still. Okay, I mean if you keep dancing, uh, it gets me distracted. Dancing is something that we learned in the previous class when I was teaching the kids um, a fraction division. That's when I explained them how fraction division is equivalent to dance. And anyways, I don't think you guys want to learn that. Yeah, it goes to happy. Yeah. Okay. So, everybody, back to class. Yeah. Now, now let's look at a situation like this. I have five fruits. You're doing the same thing, right? Is it? So, if I have five fruits and I have two friends and I have two occasions, so I have five fruits. Whatever it is, five fruits. I have friends A and B. And I have two occasions. Two occasions, let's say Diwali Holy. and Christmas. Oh. Proud moments. Stop it there. All right. So, uh, Bhupal, you might want to go on mute. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. I have five friends, uh, sorry, five fruits, two occasions, I'm uh, sorry, two friends and two occasions. How many combinations of fruits, friends and occasions I can make? Yes, Sanvi. Okay. How about you, Gitesh? Twenty. Okay, how about you, Vivan? Can you do it one more time? I said, I have five fruits, two friends, and two occasions. How many combinations of fruits, friends, and occasions I can have? Yalochita? I got 20. You got 20? Very, very nice. 
But yeah. Twenty. How? Because I times five times two times two. Okay. So yeah, that that that's what we learned. So that that's what we can relate. Now, yeah, yeah, Tanu. I got twenty. Twenty, same answer. So you guys figured out that okay, when you have to form combinations to find out the number of hands on. Now there's no no extra thing that you'll tell me. You'll tell me twenty, right? So I got twenty from so many people, only twenty times almost. So uh, that's why I'm not. Uh, yeah, Vichita, saying something. I got twenty two, sir. Okay. Sure. So, uh, so here, what we are saying is, if I have different options to choose from, I can kind of combine them into different groups, and that gives me the possible number of options that I can choose from. This part is okay. Now, now let's go to the next level of probability, and that is where I'm rolling one dice. I'm rolling a dice, and when I say dice, it has six sides. Oh. Yeah, six sides. So I can get from one to six. Okay. Now tell me, what is the probability of getting more than three? What? What? What is the probability of getting more than three? Is that include three or one half? Hear the question clearly. What is the probability of getting more than three? One half. I repeat. I said, what is the probability of getting more than three? Oh, that will be two by six. More than what? More than three. Yeah, we shall. One half. One. You don't have to dance for math. If you go for a city exam and you get all the questions right, that doesn't mean you'll start doing break dance in the classroom, right? You can do a little simulation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, get this. What is that? What do you mean by more than three? Are you meaning like num numbers more than three? I'm repeating my question one more time. You will not get the opportunity to ask this question in the examination hall. I'm saying you are rolling a dice. What is the probability of getting more than three? And that question is hundred percent legitimate. I He is creating disturbance, and you are adding more to top of it. Yeah. Fifty percent. Okay. Two by six. Two by six. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what uh, Pranit has to say. Yeah, Pranit. Uh, two by four. Two by four. Even more interesting. Okay. Um. Yeah, Dixita. One by two. One by two. Okay. You told the answer already. Right? Can I say? No, can I tell you? No, tell me the answer first. It's just. zero point fifty. Zero point fifty. You are just trying to look very different from everybody else, and your answer will look so very different. First, zero point fifty. Zero point fifty. Okay. First of all, when you are have a decimal, you don't say fifty. You don't say zero point four fifty. You say zero point five. Zero point five zero. But anyways, I'll come to that. Yep. Yes, Anvi. Um, I also got one half. One half. Okay. So this this was not this was more like a warm up question. Okay. So I'm I'm not I'm not going to ask, get answer from each one of you. I said I have a dice that I'm rolling. What is the possibility of getting more than three? Now, how many options do I have? One, I can get one. I can get two. I can get three. I can get four. I can get five. I can get six. Okay. Oh, yeah. My question was, what is the possibility of getting more than three? So I'm literally ruling out these three options. I'm only concentrating on these three, oh. which is three out of six, six. which is one by two. Oh. Yeah. And then whoever is adding more spice to it by making. One five zero or fifty percent. All those are four. right answers, but or keep it simple. Four. Keep it simple. Or two by four. Actually, that could be nineteen by thirty-eight also, but you need that. Yeah, okay. You will say okay, three out of six. No, one person said two by four. Okay. Could yeah. it mean? Okay. Yeah. When I did it, I forgot to include the six. That's why I got two by six. Right. I forgot right. to include that. Correct. Okay. What did it mean? Oh, two. Okay, this is not a debate. This is this is not a debate. It's a math class. 
Now, now, now pay attention everybody. Okay. I am rolling the dice thrice. Thrice? Thrice. I am rolling the dice thrice. I'm not dancing, I'm rolling. Okay. Get serious, Ruth. Okay, it's getting great now. I'm rolling the dice thrice. thrice. What is the possibility of getting more than five? More than five? I'm rolling the dice thrice. What is the possibility of getting more than three? Uh, more than five? Does that mean five? No. no. More than five, I'm saying what? I'm saying more than five. This is different from more than equal to 5. I am rolling the dice thrice, three times. Without being calculated, if you are giving me answer, even if your answer is correct, I will not care about it. Can I Yeah. We can I get the blue? Yeah. Or let me change the answer a little bit. I am rolling the dice thrice. What is the possibility of getting more than 10? More than 10, not, not 5. More than 10. I'm rolling the dice thrice. Oh, oh. I'm rolling the dice thrice. What is the possibility of getting more than 10? I'm saying more than 10. And I know I'm dumb, but this and this are different that I know with my limited IQ. What is that? 7 and. It's yeah. greater than or equal to. Oh. Okay, yes, Anvi. Um, a dice only has six sides. Yeah, I'm rolling it twice. Add it together. I, no. Let me do my job. Three, I'm rolling the dice thrice. What is the possibility of getting ten in total? If, if that helps you. Uh, Wait, ten in total? Yeah. Wait, is it, possibility of getting more than ten or? I'm saying more than 10. Okay. I can get more than 10. Okay. Now, everybody will be busy for next 10 minutes. Uh, don't talk to me, dude. Solve it. You have pen paper. Use your brain. Use your pen paper. Try solving it. If you go wrong, that is when you can talk. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Google. What's the question again? I'm saying I am rolling the dice thrice. Twice? Thrice. Three times. Oh, three times. What is the possibility of or what is the probability of getting more than 10 in total? Okay. And think like a child. Trust me, you all will be able to solve. If you think like Dr. Bhavar, uh, what is his name? Dr. Uh, Shri. Homi Jangir Bhava. Who the heck is that? He is one of the scientists, most biggest scientists. Uh, oh yeah, he's the guy who scares people with medicine. Yeah. <laughs> you, you focus on learning your basic math. You are going in a wrong direction, dude. Okay. You, you solve your problem, right? You, you are going... I don't know where you're going. Solve the problem first. Put some serious attempt for solving it. So it'll be more than 10? Brain much? or lips don't work together. You know that? So, so how much of your total if you say it's more than 10? I'm reading the question for you one more time, which is part of time. I'm rolling the dice thrice. What is the possibility of getting more than 10 in total? Yagitesh. E. Eight times. I'm saying, what is the probability? You you tell me in probability terms. I got a four over nine. Okay, let me. I'll, I'll keep. I mean, I'll not write it so that others don't be, get biased. But yeah, I'm rolling the dice thrice. What is the probability of getting more than ten? What happened, Dikshita? You're stressed out. The teacher is bothering you. I'm making you guys stretch out of your comfort zone. That is math. Yes, Vivan. Sir? 
roof has a lot no. yeah uh, two thirds two thirds okay i'll 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 take all the answers but i'm not dotting or anything so the others don't get biased what well, did you just change my um 18 okay no you solve it you tell me the answer i mean how part i will come yeah, to it's 8 by 18 8 by 18 okay that's that's it's a that's like a, a, there was there was a, a, the the priest of you know the, or or somebody who who preaches the buddhism he was sitting underneath a tree yeah. long time ago and he got that wisdom from the roof from from not from the roof from the tree, the tree. that that tree is called uh, the bodhi tree Was so he? so it seems like when 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 i give you guys questions and you just blink your eyes and say this is the answer it seems like you are getting a wisdom from some some supernatural No source. I'm getting wisdom. Math is not about supernatural dad. powers. I'm getting wisdom from my dad. Okay, that everybody gets. Okay. Wrong direction. Very wrong direction. <laughs> Stop it there. Uh, yes, Pranit. Uh, I rounded my answer to sixty-seven percent. Sixty-seven percent, which is like two by three. You. Yeah. Okay. All right. Two more minutes, and then I will get going. Yep. Yeah, Lokshita. You got one sixth. One sixth. Okay. Now, now everybody gets serious and sees what the teacher is doing now. Okay. Let it remain a math class. I got, I got one half. <coughs> one half. Okay. Now. Yeah. Yeah, we won. I got sixty percent. You got sixty percent. Is okay, it your your time over? It is about. I got fifteen out of sixty. Okay. Six sixteen one six. No, fifty. Fifty, five zero. Okay. And yeah, everyone. <coughs> Sir, I'd like to change the answer to one eighty percent. Eighty percent. Okay. Yeah, Vishal. One eight. One eight. One hundred. I got one half. I have one. I got one half. Okay. All right. Pranav. I got one half. Okay. Myra, what was your answer? Arav, I'll not allow you dance in the class. I'll not allow you dance in the class. Be serious about it. Okay. Yep, Myra, what is your answer? I'm still solving. Still solving. All right. So now, now the teacher gets going. When I'm talking about three dice being rolled, I have one dice where I can get one. Two, three, four, five, or six. I have second dice, which I can again roll, which also gets me same numbers. I have third dice, which gets me again same numbers, which can get me these numbers. What is the total combination of numbers I can get? Eighteen. No. Nope. Uh, oh. Yeah, Vishal. Two hundred sixteen. Yes. It is six times six times six. Oh. Oh, what is six times three? Oh. Same. So that is two hundred sixteen. This is my total options. Oh, I get. Now we are talking about what is the probability of getting more than ten? Okay. So look at what are the possible combination of the three dies that will get you more than ten. If you are talking about one one one, no ways. One one two, no ways. One two three, no ways. One three four, no ways. Essentially, if you are talking about three three three, that is the that gives you nine. So you, it has to be three and more. Basically, if you draw a line here, 
You're talking about things beyond this line, including this one. So if you talk about three, four, three, this is, this is still not working. Three, 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 not working. Three, five, three might work. So basically you have to look at these combinations. So look at what are the possible combinations. You're talking about three, four, That's okay for today. I have allowed him. I said whatever you have bought, brought. So why why is this so concerning for you? Mom, I'm hungry because you. No, 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 if you're hungry, next day make sure that you eat before coming to the class. For today, I allowed you, right? I'm now I'll not keep on nagging him. But from tomorrow, please don't. Okay. Tomorrow. That is the discussion point. Are you doing a class on Monday? Have you ever done that Monday? No, not needed. Now. From this combination, you have to look at what are the possible values that you can pick from. You, you here you can pick these three values or these four values. If you are picking three here, the first option, you cannot pick three here because it goes for us. It can go for us. So you are looking at these options here. Interesting part is. Let, let me make it a little simpler, okay? Because this might go a little difficult for you guys, okay? I'm probably, just to, just for the sake of you know, the approach part of it, let me make it two dice and, and the question to be, let's say seven, more than seven, okay? So that we can solve it. Otherwise, I will add not more complexity and there'll be more combinations to look at. So if you have a question like this, say, okay, if you're rolling the dice twice, what is the possibility of getting more than seven? So essentially, you are talking about more than seven meaning, you are talking about three, five, three, six. You are not talking about three, four. So basically, this side of the thing. Or, so you are, so, okay, let's look at this one. Total number of options you have is six times six, 36. Now, what is the possibility of getting more than seven? So you are talking about three, and 5, this is one option, 3 and 6, second option, with 3 you are done, then you go to 4, 4 and uh, four and 4 is one option, 4 and 5 is another option, 4 and 6 is another option, 4 is done, now let's go to 5, 5 and 3 is one option, 5 and 4 is another option, don't make sound. 5 and 5 is another option. 5 and 6 is another option. 5 is done. Let's go to 6. 5 and 6? It's more than 10. Doesn't matter. Oh. I'm saying more than 7 is the question. This is a trade question now. With 3 options I would have given, that would have been a much bigger problem to solve. So that's why I tailored it a little bit. More to, more to make sure that you understand the approach part of it. Now, if you go to 6, 6 and 2 is one option, 6 and 3 is another option, 6 and 4 is another option, 6 and 5, 6 and 6. And since again we overlook 2, 2 and 6 is another option. So basically from this one what you have to do is, you have to know the total count and look at what is the different combination which will give you more than 7. And then count this. 2 plus 3, 5 plus 3, 8 plus 3, 11 plus 4, 15. So 15 by 36. This is what gives you more than 7. So, what, what else? While I gave you guys a much complicated question, and why I'm saying complicated because if you have 3 dice to roll, then the combination that will give you more than 10. It would have been more complicated. That's why you know we just tried limiting it to two so that we can at least look, look at the calculation part of it. Yeah, Gitesh. Where did you get 36 from? So I have two dice, right? I'm rolling. With the first dice, I can get six options. With the second dice, I'm getting six options. So when I'm rolling together, I can get one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six. Two, one, two, two, two. So it's, it becomes six times six. Like what we were doing with the car options, right? Where we were multiplying those to get the total number of options.
Ya? Ya. Yes. So, so here in this case, this is one, one, you know, little tricky answer, a little tricky part of the question. I can, I mean, you can probably get another question which says, okay, what is the possibility when, what is the probability of getting sum as 8? And then you know, okay, sum as 8, so I can get 2 and 6 as 8, 3 and 5 making it 8, 5 and 3 making it 8, sorry, 3 and 5 making it, uh, 3, 2 and 6 is done, 3 and 5 making it 8, 4 and 4 making it 8, and then 5 and 3 making it 8, and 2 and 6 making it 8. Wait, what did it say 6 and 2? Yeah, 2 and 6, 6 and 2, sorry, my bad. Yeah, same thing. So, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 out of 36. So, if, if you have to find out what is the probability for getting one particular sum, you have to just, with respect to whatever we have done so far, did we learn any new concept? No. no. It is all about how you interpret that question and then find out the total options versus the probability that you've been asked to find it out. And that probability divided by, I mean, number of options divided by total option, that, that is what is the probability. It's like, it's like this. If I have, if I have, let's say, five fruits yeah. in a basket, okay? Mm -hmm. Five fruits mm -hmm. in a basket. What is the possibility of and, and five out of the five, three are bananas, three bananas and um, not, not, apples. Not, not three bananas, let's say three, three apples and three peaches. Okay. So they, they are pretty much similar. But so when you... It's in our discussion too. Yeah. Right there. Now, if I have five fruits in a basket, three apples and two peaches, and assume that they look, I mean, they feel the same way when you try it. Blindly picking something. If if you are picking up one fruit, what is the possibility or probability of getting a peach? I repeat the question. You have five fruits in a basket, three apples, two peaches. You are blindly picking up one fruit. What is the possibility of getting a peach? Yep. I'll not let you answer. Well, there's two peaches, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. I will not let you answer because you have to behave to be given a chance. Yep. Yeah. Yes, Anri. 40%. 40%. That is the right way turned. 2 by 5. 2 by 5. 2 by 5. Okay. Now, I know everybody will give the same answer. Okay, it's two out of five. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the possibility of if I'm picking two fruits now? Okay, if I'm picking two fruits now, what is the possibility of getting apple in the first go and peach in the second go? Did you do any calculation? I will not listen to any number coming out of air. I want, want to see it on your piece of paper. But could you ask the question again? I, I have five fruits in a basket. Yeah. Three apples, two peaches. I'm picking two fruits one after another. Mm -hmm. What is the possibility of getting an apple in the first go and a, and a peach in the second go? Okay. Yeah, Pishal, go ahead. I actually waste it. Okay. I'm still Okay. Yeah, be one. Um, 6 by 25. 6 by 25. Okay. 25. I'll come to you. Okay. What is your answer? 25%. No. Uh, give me numbers. Percentage we will derive. That's uh, not a big deal. 4 by 100. No, so no, you're, you're no, still guessing. You, you do it on a piece of paper. 25 by 100. No, how did you do it? I want to see it on a piece of paper. I don't want to, it to come from out of thin air. Um, I got one for it. How did you do it? So basically, I no, no. I would want to read that to make sense out of it. 
And these are the main regions. I will see them now. I will see them now. Not, not yet. Okay. Yeah, we shall. Explain me. You got the answer? I got, so I got 6.20. Huh? I'm still doing it. Doing it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we shall. I got 6 by 20. 6 by 20. Okay, I'll come to you to understand how did you get that. Yep. Anybody else? See, when you're solving math, it has to make sense to the teacher. Just writing something 2 by 5 here and 6 by 8 here doesn't take me anywhere. I'll not understand. See, if I just write a number like this, would it make any sense to any, any of you? No, it will not. So math is like a story. Unless you learn how the art of telling story while solving it, it will be very difficult for you to review. It will be very difficult for anybody to understand or make any sense out of it. Think about it. Can yeah. you repeat the question again? I have a fruit basket where I have three apples and two peaches. What is the probability of getting an apple in the first go and a peach in the second go? This. Okay. Yes, Vasundra has raised hand, her hand after some time. Oh, it's Pranit. Okay. Uh, so I think it's 2 by 5. 2 by 5. Okay. Yeah. I will take all the answers, but I will ask somebody to explain it. How did we get to the answer? 25%. No, it cannot come out of thin air. If I cannot see that story in your notebook, You'll not get it. No, no. Stop wasting your white time. Yeah, yellow yeah, chitta. I got six. Say that again. Six by twenty-five. Six by twenty-five. Okay, we'll see that. One last answer before I I start doing it myself. Yeah, Gitesh. One by four. One by four. Now, now. Now it's teacher's turn. Okay, everyone, you have raised your hand. Okay, you go ahead and tell me. They have a question. Um, after the first attempt, and you pick an apple, um, like, are there like, does the number of um, fruits in the basket decrease? It does. You tell me if it would not. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then I have to tell you. Yeah. Yeah, we shall. Oh, since there, I know that there's three apples, so there's a three good chance. But once it comes to the second turn, one apple, they want, we know that one of the apples is canceled. So there's only three, there's only two by four chances. Uh -huh. So when you multiply three, fifth times two, fourth, we will get six by 20. Yeah. Yeah, I got the same. Same thing. So everybody here. Now, these are, these are called related events. Okay. You cannot look at them in isolation. Now, look at this. This was a simple fruit basket, you have three apples and two, two peaches. You are randomly picking it. So, when you are picking your first, you are, when you are making, making your first pick, right? You have three apples and two peaches. What is the probability of getting a peach in the first go? Very simple, three out of five. This is what you can get. Peach. Apple, sorry, my bad. First, when you are making your first pick, and for it to be apple, this is a probability. 3 by 5. Now, you are saying that what is the probability of getting an apple in the first go and a peach in the second go. Meaning, you have picked the apple. 3 out of 5 has given you an apple. Then how many fruits you are left with? 4. 2 apples and 2 peaches now. What is the probability of getting a peach in the second go? It is 2 out of 4 now. And since these are related event, they get multiplied. Okay. And it's the same thing, right? I mean, again, if you try putting it like a tree, this is what it will come down to. So this is 2 by 4. And then, then now you deal with this. 3 times 2 is uh, 6 by 5 for the 20. 6 by 20 or 3 by 10, 30%. So whoever gave me answer like 25% out of thin air, that was a blind guess. And there is no credit for blind guess. Wait, how did you get 25%? Uh, 
Huh? Wait, how did you get 25%? I didn't get 25%, it is 30%. Oh. 30%. By calculation, 25% came as a surprise element to me, out of thin air. No, you said 25%. Wait, so the answer is uh, 3 out of 10? Yeah, so see, okay. look at, don't worry about the answer part of it. As I say, I don't care about the answer. You care about the, the, the approach. Look at this. I have 5 fruits, 3 apples, 2 peaches. When I am making my first pick, and I am saying that has to be apple, my probability is 3 out of 5. And I picked apple, 3 out of 5. Now I am left with only 4 fruits because I picked one apple already, okay. which is 3 out of 5. Like that, yeah? mm -hmm. So now I am left with 4 fruits, 2 apple, 2 peaches. Yeah. And if I have to make a pick out of it, 2 peaches out of 4. What is my probability? 2 by 4. Mm -hmm. That is for getting a peach. Yeah. So apple and a peach, these have, events are happening together. Okay. So you have to multiply them to get the probability. Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So, I know we have we had a lot of interesting problematic answers. probable probability questions and the answers were also quite probable in nature. Some of the answers were coming a uh, little uh, what do you call it? away from what it was supposed to be and that is natural because we need to do more practice. Yeah, Praneet? It's no, it's uh, Dichita. Who is, see, now you guys are pairing with each other and I see paired with Vasundra. I was thinking of Vasundra. Then I was look, looking like Praneet. Then I saw oh, it's Dikshita. Yeah, don't do pairing. That, that, that gets me confused. What is pairing? Um, How did you get 2 by 4? So, don't look at any calculation. Look at this like you are actually doing it. Meaning, you have 3 apples and 2 peaches. You make your first pick. And you are saying, okay, fine, I picked one fruit and that is apple. But what is the probability of getting apple? It is 3 out of 5. So that is 3 out of 5. Now you have picked apple. So your bas basket has got one apple less. Earlier it had 3 apples and 2 peaches. Now it has 2 apples and 2 peaches. So whatever is your second pick, that is out of 4. Two apples and two peaches. What is the probability of getting a peach? That is two out of four. So you multiply them together. Now if 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 I flip the question and say, okay, what is the probability, probability of getting a peach? Peach in first and second attempt both. What will that be? When you are picking the peach in the first attempt, that means your probability is two by five. Now you have picked a peach already. What you are left with? One peach and three apples now. I am saying, what is the probability of getting a Peach in the second attempt also, meaning only getting pe peaches picked up. So one out of four. It is one out of four. Multiply them. This is what the answer would be. So one tenth. So this is one tenth. Ten percent. Oh. Yeah? Okay. Are you guys able to relate to what I'm saying? Depends. No blabbering. Okay. No blabbering, I said. Stop it there, please. You guys have to get where you have to stop. You guys are no more three-year-old toddlers, right? I have to keep on telling the same thing and you have to be equally mischievous to repeat the same mistakes. Not acceptable, okay? Please. Otherwise, it gets me out of my comfort zone. If I'm teaching you guys, there are 10 kids waiting on the screen. If I'm wasting time explaining you guys the same thing and keep on asking you to stop, I don't know from where you guys get the courage to repeat the same mistake, where, where you have been instructed not to do so. Don't do that. I don't like it and I don't feel take pride in scolding you guys. Alright. Any questions so far? No? Everybody clear? Alright. Then enjoy the rest of your evening. See you guys on next Saturday. And I'll give you guys some assignment which will make you do practice. And again, this is not the end of probability. We have learned some of the concepts, we will apply them and see if there are still some something to get us confused. And if we get confused, that means more practice. Yeah? Alright? Thank you everybody. Enjoy the rest of your evening Bye. and happy Bye. Diwali in advance because we are meeting after Diwali. Bye. 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 Yeah. Wait, when is Diwali? I mean, Saturday? No, Friday. 31st. Okay. Yeah. Wait, so we're gonna...